The Atlanta mayor explains why the city is about to return $10 million meant to help residents back to the federal government. Fox 5 broke the story about the rental relief cash made available under the COVID impact program. The Dickens administration has fielded complaints, including from city council members, demanding to know why the outreach to citizens fell short. Fox Highs More Stiggs has the exclusive interview. The mayor explained the city had only a relatively short window of time to get the rental assistance funds into the hands of residents who need it. For people who are renters, millions poured in from Washington for financial assistance due to COVID. Did I hear you correctly that there were some emergency rental funds that we're going to end up sending back? That's correct. It's about $10 million that we're going to send back. We showed you how council was caught off guard earlier this week when a government financial executive told them $10 million in federal dollars did not get distributed. As soon as we get the money, we start activating programs to get it out to the public. The mayor explained the pending give back has nothing to do with effort. All told, about 11 to 12,000 families got resources. We spent it so well and got it in the hands of family members that the state said, here, take our allocation. Atlanta agreed to accept and try to hand out all of the 21 million of the state dollars. The city got halfway there to the new goal. You have so many people coming down here t talking about being displaced, talking about gentrification, can't afford to live there. You have about four council members that represent the very impoverished districts in the city of Atlanta. You could have gone to them and said, hey, listen. Could more have been done to market this in the summer months and say, hey, we got one more batch and kick up the notch in terms of applicants? Well, think about the money that came in was tied to COVID. There's more to it, according to Dickens. The guidelines changed. That December 31st money was related to COVID. So you had to have a COVID medical bill that you could show. You also had to show that you were laid off or some sort of work impact. Related to COVID was why this money was difficult to spend all of it. Now, all of that cash has not been sent back to Washington as yet. Some citizens will lobby the city to ask for an extension. From Northwest Atlanta, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News.